Alright, we're going to do the PGA Tour career mode as a warm-up. Our Let's see what week we're in. We're in week 23. We're going to play at Shipjack Open. Parwa Golf Club. So I haven't played here before. We're gonna manage party. Go to difficulty. Alright, so we're on pro. We have the wind speed. We're going to do something different. We're going to change the opponent difficulty to normal and hit conditions as hard this time. All right, our sponsor deal was to place in the top five. We did that once. I think this is our last tournament for the sponsorship, so we'll see if we make that. Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Skipjack Open. It's time to get our coverage ah, underway. A nice Please little city course. For this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam. What's this opening hole like? City views are abundant at this opening hole. Tarwa Golf Club, par four, 492 yards. A very strong opening hole. Fairway bunkers down the right-hand side shouldn't come into play for the long hitters. However, it's a long second shot, very demanding. Water to the right, as you can see, bunkers to the left, and anything long leaves a challenging third. All in all, one of the toughest opening holes these players will see. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Oh, I love the opportunity to save par here. This one's dialed in. Ah, that's frustrating. All right, so we're going to start off with the bogey. bogey. So I just woke up <clears throat> having my first cup of coffee. Well, that's disappointing, Rich. Getting underway over par. We so have um, the bogey at first. Not tragic. You got TGC a lot of holes Tours to make special up. event to play. With it. We Go got forward. rounds two or three. Rounds three and four left. But before getting into the master swing, I was going to uh, going with the hybrid. just play a couple of rounds in the career That's mode the to kind of wake up. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Uh... And here we are with the third shot. All right, let's see if we can chip this in. Ooh, nope. That almost went down. And this one is for bogey. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. John. What's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm down on a third hole as Matt Kuchar sets up his next shot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. That was wonderfully done. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Mm. 
The interesting choice of the driver here. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. <coughs> this would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. All right. Let's see what we can do about getting back. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole, that's a par four. That's not the one he wanted. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Getting ready to play their third. Only a few shots off the pace. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Trailing by four strokes. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Good shot there. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. All right, see, let's a little practice on reading the greens oh, and getting the line. Oh. Ouch, that hurts. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. All right, we made our par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Time to tee off at the sixth. Well, that didn't look like their best swing there. This next shot coming up from the sand. No, that's not the shot they wanted. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? They ended up quite deep into the rough here, guys. I'm not, uh, not seeing the likelihood of getting a lot of this one. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's some good golf right there. All right, so we're setting up for a look at birdie. <clears throat> Opting for the hybrid, I think. worse 13 feet to the cup this one's looking good all right bringing it back to even par we're waking up we're drinking some coffee having some fun in for the birdie good job let's see what happens here on the seventh
looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Yeah, well played. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. This putt is to move inside the all important top ten. Yeah, be proud of that. Fair effort. And this putt coming up for his path. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. <coughs> this one might roll into the rough. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. A great shot here at the eighth, and a chance for Birdie. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. Fair effort, that. Good Birdie. And with it, he moves to one under par. Let's pick up the action at the ninth hole. And about 165 yards to the pin. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. And maybe feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Gives a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, great swing there. Should play. From about 150 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Opting for the six iron. I'm liking Look the line the there. This one. Get in the hole. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Gonna hook a three wood into the fairway nice here. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Sitting at two under par, tied for sixth position. It's a long par four. I think with this wind, I don't think we can like fade it in, in there. So we're probably just gonna play that front bunker. Not sure if we can carry it. Nice. And we got on to the right shelf. That was a good shot. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. We spot the top five on the line here. Try to two putt this for our par. Get in. Oh, just missed. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Billy Horsham is currently one shot ahead of the field. We find ourselves on a par three here. Going with the seven. Should get a kick to the right. Oh, it's going left. All right. Let's well, start to head back down to the fairways, John. What's up, mate? Down here on the 12th hole as Cooch gets ready for his next one. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the 11th. Oh, 
Nice. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. I will take that. Also into the top five now. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. And the ever colourful Billy Horschel, our leader in the field. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. All right, we're going to choke up on the driver. I think if we didn't, I think if we hit that 100%, we definitely would have been in that rough over there. Still might even, but all right, we're good. Plus there's OB over there. This one from about 160 yards out. The wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Should be an aggressive line at the flag. That's a pretty handy shot. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Ooh, nice looking putt. And with that putt hold, it's back to back birdies. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently just in second place. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. done this putt is of nine feet their short game has been very impressive they've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it and all right we made that. our birdie putt see if and we're tied for the lead and this effort by justin thomas time for the fifth shot and after this hole that's how it looks all right, we're one, one shot back shot still. There. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Oh, hate it when you hook it that bad. Yeah, that's not looking too good. Sadly, this one will make a splash. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. All right, so we're looking at a bogey. That's our third shot. That's just inside the range. Outside chance here for the par. Let's take a look. There's been action of plenty all over the course. How about this great shot at the 15th? Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. All right, just looking to get that close. And it's just about three feet away. We'll make our bogey. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently four under for the round. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Well, it'd be nice to see them bounce back after the drop shot at the last. Going with the six iron here. All right, good shot. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Ah, uh, we didn't play enough. Okay. 
I feel like that left to right break always goes more than I see it, but the right to left or the left to right break goes more than I always see it, but the right to left break seems like those sort of go the way that I'm looking at it. So it seems weird. We're gonna see if we can drive this green. 569 yards. Ooh, not with that. Well, now you just got to pray for good luck because that one's heading towards the sand. All right. <clears throat> we'll go with plan B. The bunker. These are always the tough shots. We'll get in the fairway. Oh, good shot, got a fair piece of that ball. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Let's see if we can stick that close. Beautiful. Good shot in there. I like their chances for making birdie. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Going with the five wood. All right, so we started hitting some greens, started hitting some fairways. A little rough in the beginning to get going, but we just woke up. It's like 3.30 in the morning. Looking really good, this one. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. finds himself in a share of the lead. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the A team. All right, try to hit that straight. This Have the wind pull us back the into the fairway. Wow, there's OB right there. Luke. Unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh no! Right up in the canopy of the trees. All right. Playing their fourth shot. Wind we gotta be careful now. Left to right, gonna try and hold it against the wind. Like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one's headed towards the rough. All right, so we were tied really for first place, for them, but wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. With all of this going on, we're going to be this next lucky to walk That's away with a bogey. Oh, I thought that was in. All right, so we're going to drop down to four. Yeah, we're going to drop down to four on the par. We shot a 67. Not too bad. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for second. Look, that was a blast. Looking forward to next time. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. Yeah, we're tied for we're second with Adam Scott. Plus all the hard -working Justin Thomas is down studios. there at minus it's two. We're going to hop right into round two. Keep this warm-up session going. Oh, we're going to switch chairs real quick. It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action. 
live on 2K Sports. Today's <laughs> coverage of the Skipjack Open is about All right. to begin. Please, you can join us for this second <coughs> round action. I'm Luke Elby, here alongside Rich Beam and Rich. All right, let's see if we can be a little more intentful on what do you think about their chances? In second place getting the ball right in the fairway. Position, but let's face it, they're all out here to win. Nope. So they're going to have to really bear down if they want to catch the leader. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Yes, and let's hope it's not as similar results as yesterday. Opting for the three wood. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. You well, don't mind this part, huh? Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently four under for the event. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks to be going with the five iron. All right, I'm liking that one. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Lining up the birdie putt here. Well done. He's currently in a share of top spot. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. All right, the wind died down. We were looking at like a 10 mile an hour wind yesterday. Oh, this one's pretty, we got basically no away. wind today. So let's see if we can take take Look, advantage of that. Did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. This one should find the rough. Getting ready to play their third. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. I like it. Two in a row. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. All right, short par four. Oh, I love that aggressive play. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. All right, not sure why we didn't do that on the um, first round, other than possibly the wind, or I um, just still wasn't awake yet. <laughs> yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. That's half a chance of being home, this one. Well, that's an early statement right there. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Oh, the old fried egg. What an awful lie that is. Any chance of getting out of this one? They're deep down in there, guys. I do not envy them, but uh, looking forward to seeing how they get out. All right, wind's Going picking up a little bit. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. 
I tried hitting a uh, draw into that. That's not the outcome that Overdid right. it a little bit. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Seven feet to the cup. So we got this left for par. Looks good off the blade. And in it goes for the par. Gotta say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Here we are at the sixth hole. That's a touch of the Freddy Couples rhythm right there. Sitting at seven under, currently in top spot. The interesting choice of the driver here. <coughs> They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Well, that's wonderfully played out of the sand. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Par threes are always fun. See if he could knock it close. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Opting for the five wood. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Birdie at the last. This for another. All right, wasn't sure if I played enough break, oh, but I missed shot. it on the high side. Nice one to hold. Just three feet to the cup. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm here on the eighth hole. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. Our leader is up by four shots now. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Uh, it's heading into the rough, I think. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Yes, this is like a big bowl of spinach salad. It's just gnarly in there. Chosen the pitchy wedge here. Well, that's well played into Bernie range here at the eighth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Just didn't drop. Par putt coming up here. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Now four shots up after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? From around 140 yards here. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine Well played, and a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Looking good. Mark it down, that's Birdie number five. All right, so we're bogey free on the front nine. Shot a minus five, or nine under for the tournament. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down from this spot. 
And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Lovely momentum for this player. After that, birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. All right, hit that one a little fast. Well, this should find the short grass. We're going to need a kick. There we go. Time for the second shot at the tip. All right. So the fairway's sloping away from us quite a bit. Opting for the five iron. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Left yourself an opportunity. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Third shot now. Why don't we recap what Patrick Cantlay did just moments ago. Let's return to live play now. This putt coming up is for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looking great now. Well, that looked good for a long way. Okay, that hole's behind you now. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here at the 11th. With the seven. All right, I'm liking that shot. I didn't add any backspin. Just coming up short. I was thinking the elevation was going to get yeah, us the over there. Didn't seem to fit their eye. A bit short with that effort. Okay, step one complete. Out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. He has this putt to save his par. I don't mind the look of this. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. We've arrived at a par four. It's a little untidy. Sitting at nine under par. Currently All right, we got a little tickle sly here. We're gonna jump well out to the left, which goes towards the water. So we're gonna play conservatively there. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. That's fine. That'll play. Well, that's not what they're looking for. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Well, should be able to get up and down for our par. We can hand that sandwich back to the caddy and reach for the putter. At least oh, have a look at it. One. It's for par. Nice stroke. There we go. We're going to try to go bogey free. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the 13th hole. This is Matt Kuchar. Time now for the fourth shot. All right, so there might be a so little bit of a hole, gap between rounds one and two and three and four. I'm going to have to pack up my computer. I'm headed to the beach to do a uh, commercial photo shoot for this week. So we'll probably, and then I'm going to be heading over to um, Orlando oh, for the weekend, shot. so... We'll probably schedule these while I'm doing that. I might schedule this one for Wednesday. That looked a little wayward. And here we are with the third shot. Coming up pretty short. Well, you've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Yeah, we'll just shoot for par. We'll be happy with par. Big chance here. Be very happy with birdie. Oh, absolute stunner. 
Oh, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Currently at 10 under par overall. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. That one was fired out of a cannon. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Uh -huh. Going with the pitching wedge here. Needs this one to kick right. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, I think they're setting up for about a 32 foot putt. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, let's see what happens here on the 15th. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. It's pretty she good. There's that little mound there. It goes to the right. Yeah, not a bad shot that one there's 17 feet remaining to the hole this one has eyes for the hole and all right we made our birdie he'll extend his <coughs> <leg>. <coughs> let's head out to the 16th hole this is their fifth shot and after that effort this is how the field is shaping up our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Second shot here on the 16th. All right, I think if we land on, if we can get over this hill here and land up here, it should feed down into the green. So we're just gonna try to hit as straight a shot as possible. That was pretty good. All right, I'm thinking that that should roll like right up there. There we go. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. This one looking really good. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. All right, we got the birdie. It's putting easier, doesn't it? We're two putting together, what were we, five? Uh, Dang, I, just, I can't do math that fast. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens here. All right, this one we're gonna add a little loft, a little backspin. Probably still be a little long, but we'll see. Nice. I was a little hesitant on choking up on it, thinking it might be like a little too much, and we got that little. Thing in front of the green that if you miss it short, hey, nice looking line. End result Always is nice the same that we were looking for. Currently in first position. All right, let's see if we can do better on this par Team five this time than we did on the last. Yeah, 
should be a good drive. Next to be hitting for the sanctuary of the fairway. And we offer hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Like they've got the five wood. Mm, we flailed it this out to the to right. Left. We're going for the wrong flag. Well, but this we're on the green. The power game in pure fashion there. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic. Should be able to two putt. Great to watch. Oh, we need to get down that hill. There we go. Should be able to two putt for par is what I was gonna say, and then that hesitated that for a nice second. Rhythm in your stroke. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. All and right. That'll be all she wrote today. Okay. So we got our birdie. We shot a ten under par, and, and currently sit in first place. Continues to shine out there in top spot. So I appreciate, the, appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button if you haven't yet. And we will switch over to Master Swing and see what we can do over at that TGC Tour special event.